my 27 f dad blackmailed my husband 28 m into marrying me my dad used to be business partners with his friend edward from college they were doing fairly well from what my mum told me but when i was around three my dad and edward had a fight which ultimately led to them going their separate ways my dad's new company didn't do well whereas edwards thrived my dad is incredibly bitter over this and whenever he gets drunk he goes on long rants about how he was sabotaged by Edward. When I was 18, Edward had a health scare and reached out to my dad to ask for forgiveness. They seem to have mended their friendship and my dad even worked for him until a year ago. Edward has a son, my now husband, who I started dating when I was 24. About six months into our relationship, I found out I was pregnant. My husband wasn't happy and told me I had to get an abortion because he wasn't ready to be a dad. I was devastated and ended up telling my parents about the pregnancy and my dad insisted I don't make a rash decision just because it was what my husband wanted. After two weeks of completely ghosting me, my husband came to my apartment to apologize and say he wanted to keep the baby. I was a confused emotional mess at the time, so when he started insisting we get married, it didn't take him much to convince me to go along with it. I ended up having a miscarriage and my husband was incredibly cold and distant after it happened. He ended up getting a transfer to their office in the States a few months after we got married but insisted it was a temporary move so there was no point in both of us relocating. It wasn't and we've been apart most of our marriage. Last November, I told my older sister that I was planning to divorce him because we barely had a marriage and I didn't want to waste my life with someone who clearly didn't want to be with me. She encouraged me to go through with it but told me not to mention it to either of our families until I had already filed. I thought this was strange since we're both close to our parents, but I trust my sister's judgment, so I never mentioned it to anyone. In January, my husband ended up moving back home. The move was supposed to be temporary but COVID meant he ended up staying here longer than expected. My husband was very different when he moved back, he started acting like the guy the first used to date, and I couldn't bring myself to ask him for a divorce in the end. Our relationship has improved a lot and I haven't thought about divorce since. I found out I was pregnant yesterday. I took the test whilst I was at my sister's house and as soon as she saw it was positive, she told me to get an abortion without telling my husband. I was confused and I kept demanding to know why she would say something like that. She ended up telling me my husband only wanted to get married because our dad blackmailed him when he tried to make me get an abortion the first time around. Apparently, my dad has proof that Edward commits tax fraud and threatened to expose him if my husband didn't say he changed his mind about the baby and, do the right thing. I don't really know what to do now. My sister is pushing me to get an abortion and divorce. She's probably right but I just feel numb and I could use some outside advice. What do I do now? Too long did not read. Turns out my dad blackmailed my husband into marrying me when I found out I was pregnant by threatening to expose his dad for committing tax fraud. I just found out I'm pregnant again and have no idea what to do now. This sounds like an all-around toxic situation. I'd sit down and honestly discuss it with your husband and leave out everyone else. I'd tell him that you know about the blackmail and ask him if he honestly wants to be with you. If he doesn't, take your baby and divorce him. If he does want to be with you, y'all need to sit down and cut out all the dads it sounds like. Yours and his. Your dad is a piece of shish. Sorry not sorry. You could have had a better life with someone else long time ago, with someone who loves you. And your dad forced your husband to marry you, I bet he resented you for that. So much time was wasted, time you will never get back. Why didn't your sister mention it earlier, what a shitty person as well. I feel really sad for you. Talk with your husband first, tell him everything and be honest. Let him go if he doesn't want to stay. You deserve someone who can treat you better and love you. Talk to your husband, get the story from him, and figure out if he actually wants the marriage or not. Do this before you tell him about the baby, but you do need to tell him. Also, look into better birth control. This is now your, at least, second surprise pregnancy. You seriously need to get long TRRM birth control. Stop just finding out you're pregnant when you're not actively planning or in the position with your relationship for a child. For what it's worth I agree with your sister. This man is basically still a stranger to you. Tying yourself and an innocent child to him forever right now is ridiculous. Girl, I know you're confused, but get some backbone and don't be a doormat. What do you want? 
You're young, and essentially, no mate. Are you willing to be a single mother now? Does your guy love you? Or are you a flatmate with benefits? You need a few day away from all these toxic people. Even your sister. Your options are crap, but you do have options. Single mother, stay with the guy, abortion. Will he be a good dad, even though he's proven he will bail when it gets hard? If you abort, you need to run from you so-called family. Keep us posted, we are invested in your story. And hugs, breathe, good luck. Op did you even want to get married, it sounds like he pressurized you into it. Because if not, this is probably an easy out if you wanted, felt like you needed one. Wow that's crazy. Personally I'd have an open and honest conversation with my husband. And if you really want, don't want the baby regardless of how the marriage turns out that's your decision on don't let anyone pressure you one way or the other. Your marriage was founded on lies. It doesn't sound like the right situation to bring a baby into. Do you even know what your husband was during for the years he moved away? He could have had girlfriends and or possibly fathered children. You don't know. It is concerning that you two were living separate lives and only were brought together due to proximity because there's a global heath crisis, external factor, not because he wanted to return to you. It's time to have a serious conversation with your husband about this. It's not going to be easy but it's need to be done. Also don't let anyone decide for you whether you should or shouldn't have this baby because you will regret it if you're doing it to appease someone else. I know he's your dad but he did is just cruel. He was willing to sacrifice you and your child's future because of spite and resent. It is nuts that everyone was so willing to lie to you. Don't just get an abortion because your sister says so. You can get a divorce and have a baby. Talk to your husband. Let him know you know and it changes everything. You don't want to be with someone who only got with you because he was blackmailed into it. God when I think of how emotionally devastated you must have felt after the miscarriage and your husband just up and gets transferred. You deserve better than this. Get your own place, separate, have your baby if that is what you want. Find better people to be in your life. This one definitely needs an update. Look, I think it's important to get the divorce. As to the abortion, though, think about what you want to do there. If you want to get an abortion, get one. If you don't and think you would like to raise your child by yourself, do that. Either way you shouldn't let yourself be pressured to keep the baby or abort the baby by other people. This is a choice you'll have to live with forever, so you should do whichever you are most comfortable with regardless of the bullshit the men in your life have pulled. Contraceptives PLS. Until you're absolutely sure that both of you want a kid. You need to tell your husband that you know about the blackmail. Have that conversation before you tell him about being pregnant. I know that it sounds cold but it's better to know his true feelings about continuing the marriage without the knowledge of the pregnancy. As a man myself, even if I didn't want to continue the relationship, I would set my feelings aside and stay and we would be in a loveless marriage. This is not going to be good for him, you nor the chid. Take your sister and dads out of the equation. What do you want? Do you want an abortion? Do you want to work things out with your husband? It is your marriage, no matter how it started. Your sister knew for quite some time and never told you. She's just as bad as the dad in my opinion. Y'all to your husband and gauge where he stands. Does he want to work things out with you? Does he want to be a dad? Where do you two as a couple want to be? It sucks that your sister waited until you were pregnant again to tell you this. Good luck. Take some time and do what feels right. Discuss with husband and let him know you had no idea what your dad did. Encourage him to express himself openly. Make a decision with all the facts out on the table. If true, your dad is gigantic asshole and ruined a lot of chances for happiness for you. You're not close with him like you seem to think. GL. Talk to your husband, first and foremost. Get his side of the story. Just because your sister said something, doesn't necessarily make it true. Find out the truth first and then decide what to do. So, your husband was blackmailed into doing the right thing. He resented that for a while and took time to himself when he was away for work. Now he's back and from what I'm understanding is back in love with you for you. Your husband was a victim too but from what you've said it sounds like you two have a happy relationship. Do you want to throw that away over this? Do you see happiness in your future with him? Those are two key questions you need to think about. Try to understand things from your husband's perspective as well. I would tell him about the pregnancy and knowing myself I'd tell him I knew about the blackmail and talk about it. Ask him point blank if he really wants to be with you and wants this baby, no blackmail involved.
This post is fake as shit. Oh wow you really need to talk to your husband. How the relationship was up till now, blackmail or not, is, history. What matters now, is to ask your husband, do you want to continue with the marriage or not? If he does, then ask him about being a father. Holy shit. That sucks. I have no advice to help, but sending virtual hugs and if you need a shoulder to vent on I am your girl. Good luck chica. Okay, you need to sit down and talk to your husband, there's so much going on here with various people but ultimately the ones that matter are you and him, get the truth from him, how he felt then, how he feels now, and then you can make your decision. Your sister had good intentions but still kept this from you. Talk to your husband, then figure out the right move for you, is it to stay with him or divorce him, also you might need to distance yourself from your family for a while, they all lied to you. I'm sorry you're in this situation, but remember you are absolutely not to blame for any of it. You need to speak to your husband and not mention it to the rest of your family. Tell your husband everything you know and ask how he wants to proceed. If he doesn't want to be with you, then a divorce is inevitable. But, just because you get divorced it does not mean you need to get an abortion. If the baby is wanted by you then keep it. Children do not need two parents together and as long as you love the child everything will be fine it won't be easy, but it will work out. There's a lot messed up here but you need to get on birth control. Op, I hope you are seeing the comments that say to seriously talk all of this through with your husband first before jumping to any rash decisions. Please, however, don't listen to the people who are shaming you for not being on BC. I understand a lot of because comes with horrid side effects that often are not worth it. Not to mention, you should never be pressured into taking any kind of medication for any reason, unless it's literally going to save your life. A better question would be why the ever-living flying frick your husband who was apparently, trapped, into everything, never once decided to wrap it up. That baffles me. If you're with a woman against your will, why risk a baby with her? Damn that is crazy. I'd talk to your husband first without telling him about the pregnancy, see if there is love and then decide what to do. Talk to your husband, ask him straight away, do you want to be with me? Then talk about what you found out about your dad and ask if wants to keep the baby or not. Can your husband press charges on your dad for blackmail? Regarding the abortion you shouldn't listen to advice. Listen to yourself and what you want. Are you ready to raise a child? Consider the possibility that you might end up raising it while not married to your husband. Regarding your marriage I suggest you don't confront your parents yet, talk to your husband first. Tell him that you know about the blackmail. Ask if he actually wants to be with you. Don't tell him about the divorce at first, since it might scare him into lying about his feelings if your dad decides to expose him. If he tells you he doesn't want to be with you, talk to your dad. Tell him you'd rather be a single mom, if you decide to keep the baby, than be in a loveless, forced marriage. Talk to your husband with a therapist if he really doesn't want the baby he needs to be honest. Don't tell your parents until it's settled between you two. Tell him you know about the blackmail and that you're just testing to get to the true that of what he wants. Try not to be mad at him. Tell your husband you know and want to figure out if this is worth saving. Don't tell him your pregnant cause that could affect his answer. If he's not truly into being married to you then consider whether or not you want to be a single mother. But personally I wouldn't bring a child into this mess. This is so messed up and I am so sorry it's happening to you. Use that period of numbness to get through some hard decision-making time. Do not stay with a man who has lied to you this deeply for this long. If you are comfortable with not having this baby, do not have this baby as it sounds like it will be used as a pawn, just like you were. Your dad and husband dehumanized you in deep and pretty extreme ways. Please do not try to work around that. Get out, start a new life. As you said, he started being the guy you once knew. You two need to have an honest conversation. Just the two of you with no one else involved. Maybe this is a second chance for both of you and he'll react differently. Or maybe you will. And stop listening to your sister, just tell her to zip it. She has no right to push you into getting an abortion. This should all be between you and your husband. Get all the cards on the table. Thank your sister for the info but she doesn't get to be a part of the decision making process from this point going forward. She's been giving you advice without giving you the truth. It's your life and your family has been controlling it for long enough. In any case, long term, don't let your husband move overseas without you again. That has to be a deal breaker. 
divorce, abortion, and go no contact, it's easy. It's a fucked up situation and drastic measures need to be taken. He does not love you. You are nothing but a booty call to him. You will never be more than that. If you keep the baby he will resent it because of being forced to marry you. This is not a Hallmark Channel romance. Get out while you still can. Tell him straight out that you have been thinking about divorce. Do not mention you are pregnant. See what he says. If you see the look of relief on his face you will know the truth for what it is. Why the heck did you stay married so long to someone who was not even there? Don't play a pawn because you're obviously worth so much more than that. You should talk with you husband about what both of you want to do and where to go from here. Your fathers shouldn't affect y'all's decision, this is your lives. Not their petty little game. I'm hoping for the best for both of you. Of course you need to file for divorce. If you have some dignity, you know you have to do it. Regarding the abortion, that's up to you. Nobody can really give you advice on keep your baby or not. I find it interesting how many people use, whilst, in these posts, with the writing style shockingly similar. I feel like I never see that word used but it's in like 20% of what I read on here. Just my own little conspiracy theory. Op, so sorry you are going through this. I think the people recommending honest conversations here are totally right. Please give us an update and take care of yourself. Don't. Do not do anything to satisfy anyone else. Not your husband, not your father, not anyone. You don't even know if it's actually true. Just breathe. I honestly can't believe so many people are telling you to confront your husband. Please don't do this. It doesn't sound like you know him well enough to know how he will react. This is a big crime, he could react in violence. Get a lawyer and do what the lawyer says. You need to protect yourself physically, emotionally, and financially. If you want the kid, keep it. If you want the man, keep him, ditch or keep as you please. Men are not important, don't make such a fuss of them. Kids, on the other hand, are precious. Have as many you can support and bring up. By yourself. This is so gross. Please please don't let your sister take your happiness if you feel your husband has changed and you're happy. Keep your baby and stay in marriage. I'm sorry, but whhhyy do people, get pregnant, when they are in such toxic situations? What do you want? Do you want to keep the baby? You can keep the baby and be a single parent, there are resources. Do you want the divorce? You can tell your husband about both but in the end the choice is yours. Before you tell your dad plan out how you're going to put your foot down. Edit. Talk to your ob. Your practice might have a social worker with resources to help whichever path you choose. Next time, condoms. Ask her husband if he loves you right now and also tell him about the blackmailing, if he says he loves you for who you are and not for blackmailing then stay ig. What a horrible situation for both you and your husband. Your dad is a monster. You should probably talk to your husband and strategize together.